afternoon YouTube and Porsche Fanatics and welcome back onto my channel. Um, this is just a little update regarding the PSM test run yesterday. Uh, I had done the steering wheel sensor, calibrated it, did the airbag and everything else and took it out for a test drive and obviously as I'm sure you're aware it failed. After a very short period of time the PSM came up. I continued to drive it around for probably another half an hour if that uh, it came up another three times and I thought god I've made it worse if anything it never used to appear like that so today I decided to plug it in again and I had a uh, a couple of uh, faults come up with it uh, steering angle steering angle sensor not initiated uh, I had a communications error with some module and I thought, oh, here we go. So I decided today to take it all apart again. Uh, there is a module in there which is really responsible. Inside the steering wheel, there's a little module which is responsible for your uh, indicators, uh, your wipers, and cruise control, etc. All the stalks that come off the side, basically. So I took the steering wheel apart completely this time. Uh, didn't remove the steering wheel sensor. Because I, when I had it plugged in, I was getting readings from it, uh, positioning on it and everything else. So I thought, well, it's working. It's all there. So I cleaned everything up. I took, the, I took a note of the sensor number for the steering column for the, for the stalks. Just, and I thought, well, maybe shall I replace that or whatever. And I put it all back together again. Um, all lovely jubbly. And I thought, right. I turned the key. And there was no airbag light this time, which, which was odd. Things were different, let's put it this way. Don't know why, they were just different when I went to start the car up. I put the key in, turned the key, uh, the airbag light came up as it normally does, but then it went straight out again. And I've got no idea why it didn't register the disconnection. Uh, I disconnected the battery as before, so it's all, you know, uh, pretty much the same, but the the end results were slightly different So I thought right, you know what? I'm not gonna plug it in. I'm not gonna uh, It was showing a PSM fault as well. That's what I meant to say when I turned the key I had a PSM fault and I also had a PASM fault as well now I'm guessing I think they were because the battery was disconnected Anyway, I thought right this time. I'm not gonna plug it in. I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna take it out for a drive and after about 15 minutes, sure enough, uh, the PASM went out, the PASM uh, fault disappeared off the dash, and so did the PSM. Now, I continued driving probably for about half an hour in all sorts of circumstances, slow speeds, etc. A couple of friends called me, I was talking to them on the phone for about 10, 15 minutes at a time, just driving around, don't really know what I was doing in terms of speeds at that point, but it was all pretty slow stuff. And after uh, about 10 minutes of the PSM and the PASM clearing itself, I did a lock to lock as well. Uh, rather than do the steering wheel sensor alignment on the, on the computer, I literally did a lock to lock and centered it and drove in a straight line slowly. I'm told, and I understand even, I spoke to my Porsche guy, and he said, you don't, you shouldn't need to initiate a steering wheel sensor. The car will do it itself. You just need to almost, you know, they say it's plus 20, minus 20, but lock to lock, it's just a, a figure. It doesn't matter whether you do it quarter or not, as long as you do it significantly and center the wheel. I did all that. After about 15 minutes of the both of them warnings going off the dash, the PSM came back up again and I thought, oh, here we go. So anyway, I just turned it off, started the car again, and I carried on. And that's when I'd taken the phone calls, drove around for a while. Uh, anyway, I was out for over an hour, and the fault didn't reoccur in, all, in any kind of conditions that I drove it. I only brought it back in because the rain was coming. <laughs> I didn't want to get it any wetter than it had already been. So I've not plugged it in again. Uh, I've got no intentions of plugging it in again. I'm going to leave it. Uh, as it is for now you know I, I've got a funny feeling you know without digging into it too deeply that I think I've got a faulty control module 
which I think is the one under the driver's footwell. But I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna leave it now. I say I had a good hour's driving out of it with no issues whatsoever. It was all round town, different speeds, 20s, 30s consistently. Uh, I did have a couple of 50s as well. So, fingers crossed, I'm just gonna leave it for now and see when it materializes again. And if it does, I think I'm probably gonna take it into Porsche and get them to do a diagnostic on it just to see what it might be. But uh, there was a, in one of the underlying menus on the software, I found a communications error uh, from a module, which I made a note of the number, which I'm gonna look into to see what that module is. So it might possibly be um, a, a faulty module. And also I had the stop brake light switch come up again. Now that's new. Sometimes that appears, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm now wondering whether, because I'm getting the steering wheel, the brake switch, uh, other things as well, uh, randomly appearing on the fault codes, but not having any detrimental effect to the car, whether or not there is a communications error with that module. But I'm gonna run it, leave it as it is. I'm gonna leave it alone, put my scanner away and carry on with some other bits and pieces and we'll just see how it goes sorry to bore you to death with this psm thing but they are i've always said all along these cars are quirky so and they certainly are so fingers crossed we're all right for now and i'm just going to carry on and forget it ever happened anyway thanks for watching thanks a lot take care like and subscribe more porsche bits on the way bye for now